In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a Madden 21 Blitz that you could use from the 46 playbook to be able to get some pressure on your opponent. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to one of my YouTube videos before, basically what I do is I try to share uh, different tips and strategies that are going to help you get better at the game. And we post four different times on YouTube a day, so we got one more video coming for today. And then we also have um, a nightly stream that we do every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time that you can check out. All you got to do is to subscribe and you can turn that little notification bell on. That's going to allow you to know whenever we go live. All right, guys, 4-6 bear under. That's what the set is from, from uh, or the blitz is from. This is the universal pressure out of 4-6 bear under. You can do it out of different pressures for sure, but the pressure that I like to use is just cover three, and I like to just use this base rush. Now, the trick to this defense is you're going to come out, you're going to base align. You want to already have it base align if you can, but I go ahead and just base line because we're in practice right here. All I'm going to do is crash my line to the right. I'm going to then globally blitz my linebacker on the right side of the screen and make sure that you are using somebody on the right side of the center. And what you'll see here is you are going to get that pressure going right through the A-gap. This is a very simple overload pressure. One of the things that I'm learning about blitzing this year's game is that whichever side you're blitzing from, it's actually really, really important to user that side. So as long as I'm uh, using someone on the right side of the screen, you'll see we get consistent gap pressure. Sometimes it does become block shed pressure, but what you'll see here is if I use somebody on the left side of the screen, um, the pressure will still come in, but it just won't be as consistent. So if I use a Brooks right here, you're going to see the pressure just doesn't come in as consistently. If you see you get those little stunt angles, and it's just not quite as consistent. And what you'll see here is if I use her the safety on the right side of the screen here, McCordy, or if I use her uh, this linebacker right here, Bentley, and maybe sit like right in this little gap here, what you're going to see is you're going to consistently get pressure. Now, in practice mode, sometimes it does get a little bit weird as far as the pressure. Uh, so we're going to run a little blitz here just to kind of uh, just to get, get it off of that uh, real quick for you guys. So this is just something to the left side that you can do. As you see here, we're able to get some some a little bit of a decent pressure here. But let me show you this blitz one more time. Again, the setup is very simple. It's going to be in the description of this video. All you're going to do is baseline, press coverage, crash your line to the right, globally blitz one of your linebackers on the right side of the screen i like to blitz uh copeland here and then you're going to want to make sure you're using somebody on the right side of the screen and what you'll see is you're going to consistently get some type of either edge rush or gap pressure now one little trick you can do um to make this blitz a little bit better if they start to pick it up is you can actually crash your line out and it's going to do kind of the similar concept you'll, you'll sometimes get some edge pressure from this as well just depending on how the offense picks it up but uh, this blitz has been fairly consistent for me in games. In practice mode, it's a little bit finicky. But overall, I really do enjoy this pressure. You see there, you get that little slip angle. And it's going to scare even the best of the uh, quarterbacks. And what they're going to have to do and what they're going to have to uh, do to stop this is they are going to have to really basically block a running back and maybe double team the nose guard. Because if they block a, if they don't, if they just double team the nose guard, you're going to see you're going to get that edge pressure off that right edge. That's what makes this play uh, so effective in my opinion. One other quick trick uh, that I've been learning a little bit with this blitz is that if you spy that left of screen um, defensive tackle or defensive end in this scenario, it's actually going to open up the A-gap a little bit more. So as you're labbing some of these A-gap pressures that I'm giving to you guys, some of these overload blitzing concepts on my channel, what you can do, and I have a ton of them already up there, but literally if you spy that backside guy, so you see here it's just a standard four-man overload, you're going to see you're going to consistently get decent pressure. As you see there, we're going to get some gap heat. You're going to get some edge heat. You're going to get some A-gap. You know, the offensive line does kind of, uh, honestly, it's a little bit random. Uh, with the way the offensive line works this year but you can mix and mix mess around with this little spy technique and you're actually going to see some pretty unique pressure setups out of this so anyways guys if you've never been to my channel before i do want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe we'll have more tips coming for you uh in the coming videos here on the channel we got one more coming today and then we'll have of course four more tomorrow i'm going to try to start uploading my uh, videos on an actual schedule so what we're going to shift to here is we are going to have a video for you at 11 a.m 1 p.m 3 p.m. and then um, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, I will upload at those set times. They'll be scheduled out, and you can catch those on my channel. But, guys, this little four-man pressure here is very unique. You can mix it in with some of the concepts that we're doing from the 46 playbook. As well, if you picked up the defensive guide, if you haven't picked up the defensive guide, it is out. You can pick that up in the description of this video. It's based on the 46 playbook, primarily out of nickel 55, but we'll show you some other uh, setups as well. 
Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out some of these videos on the screen. And if you haven't already, make sure you join my Discord. Discord is a great place for us to be able to connect uh, and just really uh, grow together because it's going to teach. You're going to learn schemes not only from me, but you're going to learn things from other people. And so if you haven't already jumped in my Discord, go to the description right now. You can grab my ebook and you can also check out the Discord.